Hello, it's Jay here again and welcome to this new series where we are going to be creating a 3D Tetris clone and what we're going to be doing in the first couple of lessons we're just going to be getting some very basic code into place before we actually begin to do any work within Unity itself so with that said let's create a new c sharp script and we're going to call this spawn underscore blocks and we'll open this for editing so as i say we're just going to get some um, very basic code in place first so let's begin by creating a public string and we're going to name this underscore next block close that line off into the comments um we'll put creates a string which will store the next chosen block we'll create type public game object underscore current block we'll close that line off and we'll put a similar sort of comment creates variable to store the current block game object and then we're going to create of type public string and then we're going to open and close the square brackets so we're creating an array to store multiple strings and we're going to give this array a name of just underscore blocks and that's going to equal a new string and we're going to open and close the square brackets again so it equals a new string array and we'll come to the end and we'll open and close brackets we'll come past the close bracket and just close the line off and then we'll come inside the brackets and um, this is a good um, point to say um, if you don't understand what this code is or how it works please do not worry when we come to actually implementing this into unity it should make sense and of course I'm always happy to answer questions in the comments but as I say, I believe this will become apparent how this is going to work. Um, once we actually get some um, implementation into place. So inside the brackets, basically we're going to put the two quote marks. Inside the quote marks, I'm going to say the eye shape. In fact, I'll put shaped. So we'll basically put a comma at the end of each line. Then we'll come to the next line. We'll put the quote marks in again. This time it's going to be J shaped. Next one is going to be L shaped. The next one is going to be O shaped. And we've just got to keep going. We've nearly done now. So S shaped. And just the last couple, which is going to be T shaped. And the last one is going to be Z shaped 
and please note I'm not putting a comma on the last one Z shape that's very important so please make sure comma after each one except for the very last one and let's put this into the comment so um a string array for all the block naming conventions we'll come to the void start we're going to say underscore next block is going to equal an empty string so just two quote marks and then we don't put anything between them just close the line off and we'll put this into the comments so what we'll I said next block to equal an empty string on startup and underscore current block we're going to say that's going to equal null close the line off again into this comment set current block to equal null on start up and we'll come to the void update we're going to say if open and close brackets underscore current block double equals null so let's put that into the comments so this is an if statement if current block is equal to null so we're not setting it just saying if it is equal to null we're going to do something and what we need to do is call a function so i'll just go ahead and create that at the bottom here so this can be of type private void we're going to say choose next block open and close brackets open and close again now we'll come back to the void update and then we're going to call that function choose next block open and close brackets close the line off and we're just going to put we're calling that function now this part of the code is this is going to be altered this is just temporary code while we get some basics into place so let's go ahead we've created an empty string so create the string set it to empty game object we've defined that we've set that to null and we've created a string which is just a list of all the blocks names we're saying if the current block is equal to null which means we haven't assigned a game object to this variable we'll call this function and what we're going to do is we're going to say next block is going to equal blocks that's this string array of names we're going to open and close the square brackets and we're going to say random dot range so we're using random dot range because i wanted to pick the next block at random from this string so we'll come after random range again we'll open and close normal type brackets this time we're going to say zero comma so that's the start 
Um, in code, the first one is always zero within an array. So the first one, which is zero, comma, underscore, and then we want blocks, dot, length. We'll come to the end and we'll close the line off. So that's just saying from zero throughout the length, which is the entire list or array of names. So we're just picking one at random from there. Now, I do realize that um, sometimes we may have to limit the randomness of it because we want um, over time um a sort of an even amount of these shapes being spawned even if that's in a random order but that's for much much later on for now we just want to get some basics in place which is just picking a random block and i'll just break this line up for commenting we're going to say Set next block to equal a random string from the array. And I'll put underscore blocks. That's the array we actually calling from. And we do need to do something within this void, but first we'll come and we'll create another private void. And this one we're going to name spawn block. Again, open and close brackets. Open and close again. So we'll come back into choose next block so once we've chosen the block we want to spawn it and we're going to spawn it by calling the spawn block function so spawn block open and close brackets close the line off again we're going to call the function we'll put in the comments And in spawn block, we're going to say if open and close brackets under and inside brackets, we're going to say underscore next block is double equal to. And again, we'll put the quote marks. We're going to say I shaped. Now, <clears throat> when you type this in here. It must match exactly the way it's named up here. If not, it won't work. If you use lowercase up here or capitals and don't use them there, it will not work. A good rule of thumb is just to copy and paste the naming convention from the string into this function just to make sure that they are both exactly the same. In the comments, we're going to say if next block is equal to the and I'm going to put I shaped string We'll come below, we're going to set the current block to equal. And what we're going to do is we're going to instantiate the block. That means load it into the, into the scene within Unity. And we're going to open and close just normal brackets. We're going to say resources dot load so we're going to load from a resources folder that we're going to make 
open and close brackets again inside the brackets again I want eye shaped this is going to be the naming convention for the game object and again at this point if you don't understand this how this works in a couple of lessons time when we get round to creating the blocks I'll go back over this and explain exactly how it works and I'm sure you'll see it then if you don't quite understand it now so please don't worry so in between the two close brackets I'm going to put a comma and I'm going to say new and I want to type vector 3 so a vector 3 is the world space in a 3d scene we're going to open and close brackets again inside the brackets we need to put the axis values for the x y and z and for the moment we're just going to set those at zero and apologies if you can hear the siren outside but we're going to say zero comma zero comma zero we'll come between the close brackets again we're going to say comma criterion dot identity and we're going to come after the close brackets and we're going to say as a game object and we're going to close the line off so I'll just um, break this up for commenting so let's go through this so if it's the next block is equal to i shaped we're going to say set underscore current block game object to equal the game object I shaped which let's say we are loading from the resources folder at this position within the game scene and we're spawning as a game object and let's save that off there I think we'll leave it there for this first lesson um, the next lesson will come hopefully very soon um, so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope to see you next time and until then bye for now